position, but we are not. So the, the conversation is not difficult. This is a game we have to win. The level of performance, I think the, the players and I think most people appreciate that the level of performance uh, in our game against Egypt was better than our level of performance uh, in our first game with Cape Verde. So um, the players know, the players know what it will take to, to get a result. There are, there are no easy games in this, uh, in this tournament and uh, we will come up against a Mozambique team also knowing, also knowing that uh, they have to win the game. So uh, we have to be uh, physically and mentally prepared for this and the, and the players know this. Um, but this is a different year. There is always pressure. There's always pressure if you are a Black Stars head coach. There is always pressure if you are a Black Stars player. This comes with the game. But, you know, we have a group of players, as does every team, that go into pressurised games at club level, albeit to, to win the league or to make sure they stay in the league or to stay in a cup competition to stay in a European competition. So le levels of pressure uh, as head coach you're used to and also the players. Uh, and it comes, it comes with the job and you have to accept it uh, and you have to welcome it. Yeah. We had some issues with uh, players being available between the lines. And I think in the, in the, in the second, uh, second game we were more compact. So there was, there was less space for, uh, for Egypt to find the players in between the lines. And also if the lines are closer to one another, it's easier to press and you can be more aggressive. If the, if the lines are far apart, then you always get caught in between. So I think like off the ball against uh, Mozambique, we'll, do it. we'll need to do the, the, the same thing. The Ghana team at the AFCON with the least of expectations internally about winning the trophy. I think I understand the question. Um, uh, I think there, there uh, is uh, always a pressure uh, going into this tournament because we are the, the black stars. Um, I accept the first part of your question that, um, that uh, potentially going into this tournament the, the expectations uh, maybe were not as high as in previous years. So this I, um, I accept. Um, but for all of these questions and for any question that anybody asked about previous, about pressure now, um, we have to use that as motivation. And uh, the players have to use that as motivation. And I would like to think that uh, after the first, first performance, um, we always know there will be criticism if we don't get the results that we want. And uh, I would like to think that the team used that in a positive way. And um, if, uh, if the expectations are perhaps lower this tournament than they have been in previous tournaments, then exactly the same. We have to use this as, as motivation. For, to make sure that we succeed in what our ambitions are. To be added to anyone this time. It's a chance to be added to the Thank you. Um, so the, the update on uh, Majid is that, um, uh, that we are um, still assessing him, but the signs are good. He will train today, and um, the, the signs are good that he will be fine. Um, this was a situation in the game where we had to had to bring him off. He'd um, received uh, a kick in training before that, and um, a consequence of that meant, uh, as he started to get into the latter part of the game, he was feeling it. Um, as regards uh, Richmond uh, uh, Lamptey, he's uh, very much part of the squad, um, and the fact uh, he's part of the squad. Then, uh, Everybody has an opportunity. You know, we constantly talk about uh, how difficult it is to pick a team, to pick a bench, and to leave also to leave players out. And this is the responsibility of myself and the technical staff. Um, but Richmond has been um, uh, a.
big part of our squad, as has everybody else. And, um, and that means that they all would put themselves always into consideration to, to be involved. The lady, Madam. I'll go back to what I originally said uh, after the game, um, is that it is an emotional game and uh, as, um, as a head coach, you have to make uh, these decisions and you hope you make more right decisions than not. But this is a decision that we made at, uh, at the time. This is, was never a reflection on the individual because apart from being a, a very good footballer, he's also a very good individual and a very good team player. Uh, so yes, I, I have spoken to, to him and uh, obviously conversations are always private between head coach and, and player. Um, but yes, um, this was a necessity for me um, to be able to, to speak to him as, as soon as I could. And I can tell you, it wasn't, it wasn't that evening because still there were a lot of emotions of the game. But the first opportunity that I had the next day to speak to him, uh, I have. Three of the four goals we, we conceded were we could have avoided, but yeah, this is part of, uh, of, of sports and, and football in general, and we we don't blame any individuals. If, if we said in the dressing room as well, we win together, we lose together. I don't think it's due to the pressure, it's just sometimes uh, at this level you make certain decisions, and if you make the wrong decision, then yeah, it can be it can be fatal, and unfortunately for us it's been, uh, it's been fatal on uh, a few too many occasions, but uh, I don't think this is uh, creeping into people's heads. I think we need to learn from it, and then in the in the upcoming game, try to avoid uh, the the smallest of mistakes and maybe not take too much risk to avoid uh, any unnecessary uh, yeah, goals against. See, it. team, but he's not been featured so far. Thank you. But uh, but firstly, in in any relation to uh, social media. Uh, I am not, not on social media uh, my, myself, so I, I would have to say most things I don't see. But I have um, a head of media that, um, that obviously informs you of anything that, um, that is, uh, is put on there or we see. Um, in reference to uh, the particular player, is the same reference to all the players. Um, I would be very surprised if there is any player in the squad that is happy that he's not playing. You, you want a competitive squad, you want players to be pushing, and you want players to be disappointed that they are, that they are not in the squad. This is, for me, a normal emotion and um, a normal re reaction from players. Um, as regards the individual himself, um, Daniel is a, uh, an extremely good professional that trains well, um, always wants to make himself available and a, and a player of great experience. Um, but he's also a valuable member of this squad and has been in this squad for um, a long time. As head coach, you use the opportunity to speak to as many players as you can. It's not always easy. We have 27 players and um, our uh, workload between the games is quite a heavy workload as regards the analysis work that we do, the video work that we do. But we try and spend as much time as we can um, speaking to all the individual that we can. And yes, Daniel is one that I've, I've spoken to regarding him uh, not starting in the two games. But Daniel is one of 27 players and um, we have to try and communicate with the players the, the, the best way that we can. Um, but as you can imagine, we can never speak with all of the players 